Hey, welcome to the stream. Let me see. How, let me just get Twitch chat on my screen. So that way, um, got to post. Um, oh shit! I have to do a lot of things. Go on Google. Go to my Twitch. My Twitch chat, please. Hey, hey. Twitch chat. Um. Uh. Yes. So let's just do this. <sighs> Bro, remove the file. I don't care. Fan open. Fucking file. Yes, install. Concurrent? What does that mean? I don't know what concurrent con concurrent means. Concurrent. That's done. No, not manage it. I need to watch it. Why is everything so? F no, don't go on the fucking app. Not the app. I need to. D I need to delete that app. All right. Open a new tab, please. Okay. Cool. Take your time. Why don't you copy that? Cool. Now I have to open Discord. Should have done this first. Um, anyone wants to watch? Why does Discord not work sometimes? What the fuck? Why aren't you working? Just work. It's not that hard. Alright. Twitch shots there. Alright, let's play some crime o'clock. Alright. So this this is a game where you have to catch time thieves. That's right. Thieves that try and disrupt time. That's what I believe anyway. So that's why I downloaded the game. Let's play it, shall we? Let's see what's going on. The apartment in pink. Alright. Let's interview the fundamentals. So that way so that we can prepare you for your final test. It's time to show me your skills of det deduction detective. So apparently the description of this game says that you have to actually use deduction type of thing. Which oh boy, if that's true. I'm in a lot of trouble. Anyway. I recreated a short criminal case inspired by a true story archived in my DB. Don't worry though. I'll follow you step by step. So is this a crime that that technically did com canonly happened but we're stopping it? But wouldn't that create butterfly effects throughout history? I don't know. What do I know? I am a detective, not a time traveller. 
Here's our case. A mysterious thief broke into the fashion model's loft and stole one of her famous jewels. There's a catch though. According oh there we go. According to the true timeline, the crime hasn't happened. So our task is to shut up plane. There's a plane outside my window. Anyway, you probably can't hear it anyway. Um, our task is to preserve the integrity of the time flow. To do that, we have to learn exactly what happened and find the right order of events. We can't interfere with the past, so we have to be sure our actions won't create further paradoxes. <coughs> Alright, the f first step in any investigation is to find the crime scene. Zoom in to get a close look at the map and observe the details better. Ooh, oh my god. Perfect. The best way to find a clue is to zoom in. Now we have to select an element and let the system verify it. If it's actually a clue, it'll be highlighted. To select an element, press and hold until the system answers. Right now, though, we need to find the victim. Our fashion model. Can you find her? Yes. She's right there. I just clicked on her boobie. <laughs> and, uh, uh, great job, detective. Here's our model. As you can see, she's reporting the thief to a police officer. If we look closely, we can usually find more clues. She's pointing it somewhere, probably toward, toward her apartment. Let's see if we can find it. Oh yeah, you can kind of see it pointing. Yeah. Remember to observe things carefully. We can guess directions and trajectories by assembling the details. Try to follow an imaginary line from the model's arm to lead you to her apartment. Here's one last thing, detective. Only for this case, to help you focus on the right area, I'm highlighting the zone where the case takes place. Oh, thank you. It's right here. There it is! Everything has been turned upside down and the door is broken. Unfortunately, the tea, the thief is gone. It will be almost impossible to locate a thief we know nothing about, especially amid a crowd. Thankfully, my mainframe lets us examine the case from, a diff from different points in time. Those points are called ticks, and they're frozen. Fixed moments in time. This, it isn't ideal, but a collection of ticks is our only way to experiment, experience the, the past. Let's go back one tick and look for more information. Tick, 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 tick. Ooh, okay, see ya. Them. They have a tail? What? Done! Now we've gone back in time. As you can see, the whole map has changed, moving back and forth in time. It's possible to observe the movements and actions of the city's inhabitants. For example, the model's apartment is still intact. The thief hasn't entered it yet. Let's take a look. Thief is bound to be ne nearby. Yeah, clearly. I got you. Good find. Well, maybe. I was a bit too. Did that? Did that get dick? In creating this simulation, but you have to admit a suspect has everything. A jaw, a dog's jumpsuit. Balaclava and a crowbar. 
he definitely isn't a heating technician. Let's move forward in time and see if he's really our thief. Remember, we have to be 110% sure of our theories before we take any action to restore the timeline. This tick was recorded right after the jewel was stolen. See if our non auto meeting technician is close by. Pay attention though. Oh god. Sometimes characters change their clothes or their appearance between ticks, especially if they're about to do something suspicious. <laughs> I found you. Found him. See him in the crime scene. And he's taking off his baraclara. Clever. Well, he's not really clever because we, we just saw, saw him steal. Keep following our definitely not a heating technician. You can interact with me at any time. If there's a light bulb icon, I have a hint for you. Okay. Oh. See you. <laughs> Woo! We found him again. Where is he going? No one knows. He's walking toward the water course. But what more? Interesting. Him again. Detective, we need to continue the hunt for a suspect. Often the solution to an investigation involves traces and civilian duties. Oh, <laughs> Here's our thief. Have you seen him? He's holding the loot. The stolen jewel. And he's giving it to a giant rat? Maybe this detail was was a bit different in the original story, but that doesn't matter. Ahai has the right to some greater freedom after all. <laughs> ah, yeah. Now that we we call him red-handed, we can be sure that he's our culprit. Send a report back in time to the local police and have him arrested to them. It will appear just like a me message on one of their terminals. It won't have a clue about our involvement. We cannot prevent the crime, but we but we restored the correct cause of history. So we're not preventing a crime. We're just changing a crime because originally it was supposed to go this way, and we we're trying to fix it too go on that path, the correct path. Just remember this, we aren't basic police officers, our job is not to prevent crimes. Wait what? A crime is not to prevent crimes and save the innocent. innocent. Instead, our task is to prevent the true timeline, exactly. Hey you! Under arrest. Great job, detective. Now you're for the final test. Whew. That was really impressive for the first try. I, or uh, should I say, they were right in choosing you for this job. However, there is still something to be done before you can become a fully fledged detective. Cobb a uh, she test. A final test. Press play to begin your final test. Okay. Reply. Beep. 
Sorry, I'm just uh... Detective, this is your final test. Prove your skills and you'll be a full fledged de defender of the Troom timeline. You'll face the re recreation reconstruction of a real case recorded in my DB. A crime that should never have happened and was prevented by other operatives in the past. I'm sure you managed to demonstrate your deductive skills by solving it. No, I, I wouldn't. I want to see the Twitch chat, please. No, let me see the. Let's see. Anyway, gruesome crime has been committed in the closest, closest of this city, recent university. We have a lifeless victim. Find him. We'll start on your mark. Right, let's find this. Okay, let's see. We have a suspicious person. <coughs> But he's no one. Hmm. He's just waving at us. Weird. What would the crime be? Oh, he's here! Oh yeah, there he is. According to my archive, his name is Danny Eli Maroon. He was an arch. Arch. Why are you using these words? Professor, an author of the international bestsellers, his books. Bug box in less than a century will be the foundation of the cultural winner. I can't speak today. Not speak. Why is it the desktop? That's better. I'm not sure. We can't leave. We can't leave him. We can't let him leave the realm of the living like this. Not just for the sake of liberties, libraries, <laughs> but to preserve the dream of them. What's that, detective? Check this out. A jack in the box came up out of that book. There was still legal in those barbaric times. The puppets, I mean, preposterous. That's more, though. A lime scented drink has been spilt on the ground. What exactly happened here? What? Was the drink poisoned? Was it a severe case of puppet induced? We have to find out, but how? Well, as your AI assistant, I am equipped with cutting edge subroutines and analytical tools, most of which can be used for free with your current subscription plan. <laughs> okay. Universal. Biochemical analysis routine loaded correctly. Welcome to my world. Now you're looking at reality through my systems. This is how I perceive everything. 
even emotions. And as you can see, no puppets. What a relief. I'm active. I've activated a universal analyst tool with it. We can extract biochemical and biometrical data from a crime from any crime scene. So I was just making sure my mic is working. Both from inanimate and inanimate sub subjects. For instance, in this case, we can use it to determine that the death occurred due to the poisoning. Detective, try your luck with the UBA. I'm just matching everything up. I think. Yeah. Cool. No poison. Negative. No poison is present in the body. I knew it. It's the puppet's fault. You can never trust those scoundrels. But how did that puppet end up in the book? We need to reconstruct Professor Marin's day to find other clues. Let's follow him back in time until we discover how he came in possession of the book. He looks like that, sir. No, she's just running. Hmm. Is that him? No. Oh, that's him. Ooh, nice. Sit and sip. So he still had the book then. He's here. Walking. Yeah. Oh, dun dun dun! Jack in the book. Found it. Aha! What are you thinking, Detective? Yes, I believe you're right. If D Danny, I'm just gonna call him Danny, obtained this strange book from this even stranger librarian, we may have found our murderer. We should investigate. Again. Database match. Okay, yeah. The identity of a person isn't always contained in my archives. I only have the memory. Shit. <laughs> of people who, for some reason, are considered important for specific historical events. Fortunately, the database match tool we can reconstruct the information of any person whose face is at least partially visible. Oh my god, am I gonna have to
Let's go. Oh, God. Good job. We know the librarian. Umberto Ego, a retired university professor who still collaborates with the library. He wrote a single book, an obscure and an geometric text called Ra and Pantulum. Still, he and Danny had nothing in common except they, that they worked at the same university. That isn't enough for murder, I guess. Let's go back in time and see where Umberto got that strange jack in the box. Going back even further now. Oh, there's so much more people now. Okay, um Umberto has a big mustache. Uh, I'm not sure if it's. Um, sorry, I'm just need to, I just need to check something. I'll be right, I'll be right there. Um. I'm not sure if it's buffering on screen. Stream. Okay, big mustache dude. There he is. Mystery box. Okay. Oh. There he is. There, finally, we have an interesting clue. Umberto is in front of the book delivery point. And he's picking up some to take to the stand at the university. At the time, students borrowed books, and when they had finished their exams, they returned the books to the machine that collected and catalogued them. It's an old fashioned but affected system. However, the most interesting thing is that it recorded the personal data of those who requested and returned books. Unfortunately though, all of the recording information is encrypted. Luckily, there's a universe, universal description, decryption system in my toolkit. Of course there is. Thank you AI. You know, Detective, we don't know for sure how to translate most ancient text and codes for that reason. No. For that reason, we developed the universal decryption tool. While it can't give you a literal translation of ancient wide writings, it can be used to de decipher the general meaning of almost everything. Try it and see. student who returned the strange book was someone with the, with the name Roberto. Now that we have the, the, his data, we can trace the phone number find out where he is. We don't even need tools because the 21st century smartphone has practically an open window into its owner's life. Of course. Buying a super maxi burger, whatever that is. Roberto was the last person who had access to our strange book, so it could be a solid trail. Let's follow him until we find a moment in time 
and he still has to fuck with him. Dick. We're going even further back now. Okay. Um, so he has that type of hair and he has a bunny tail. Oh, this dude. There you go. There he is. Okay. Take three. We're going further back. Oh, there he is. Find ya. There. You must have returned the book. You have to go just a little bit further back in time. Like Spot Walder. There you are. Pranking! He's a prankster. He, here he is. He's preparing his jack in the book. I believe Roberto only wants to stage an innocent prank, but he started a dangerous chain of events. Coincidence, the most deepest threat to the true timeline. They can go unnoticed and are the weapon of choice for those who want to destruct the correct flow of time. As you know, we can't influence the past in, in, in any meaning, meaningful way, but we can send messages to any technological device. I'll notify the local police. Time for resting, boys. We got it. That Estonian is damaging public property in front of our buck. In the form of our buck. They'll show up and scold him a little bit. But that will be enough to prevent a dangerous chain reaction. <laughs> Woo! How dare you prank! You naughty boy! <laughs> Detective, I'm proud of you. Thank you. But well, please remember that this is the this was only a simulation. Our fictional Roberto didn't have the knowledge or the means to attack the Dream Timeline. But you can be sure that others can and will. And they like using unsuspecting people like Roberto to start chain reactions capable of disrupting the proper time flow. However, this is a concern for another time. For another time? What do you mean? Why can't we address it now? <laughs> First, let's celebrate your successful com completion. Whoa. Yay. Oh, 2000 CE. Congratulations! You are now a fully agent. I suggest you relax a little bit. Alert! New Nexus event detected. Detective, I'm afraid your relaxing is over. It was only for like one second. Uh, th uh yes, that was a great. That was a great one second of relaxing. What is the Nexus event? Alas. 
there was no time to explain. It's bad. Really bad. Imagine life as you know it. It's stopping. In. St staying. This. Oh, why? Is that a word? And. An entire age of your history collapses. We have to act swiftly. Detective, let's go. Oh, no. <laughs> the red... Detective, pay, pay attention because now we mean business. This is a real case, not a simulation. Something terrible, terrible is happening. My quantum scanners have picked up a very strange signal. Record, records of crimes that were never supposed to happen are somehow forming within our, my database. We have to act. Oh, that's a good question, detective. Why crimes, you ask? I didn't, I didn't ask that, but okay. Well, altering the course of history through violence and deception is by far the easiest way because time tends to correct itself when it's given a chance. However, it's pretty hard to fix something when your key actor is out of the picture, or, or worse. Well, enough with the explanation. Let's go! Based on my readings, I can say we have a murder. The victim should be somewhere on the castle grounds. Castle grounds here, I guess. I love how you can just <gasps> be careful, dude. You're gonna f walk right in there. I love how you can just zoom in all the way in. Oh, angry dude over there. We could, we could just spend hours just looking at, at this town here. I think he's in a trance. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. There's a black cat and stuff. Oh, a crown. Sorry. Should get to the murder. It's a coat here. That's random. <gasps> oh my god. Uh oh. There he is. Ouch. <laughs> There's a victim beneath the fallen spotlight. Axel Blood. Lead singer of the Blood Ax Axels. You shouldn't have died on this day. Also, the pizza in incident. Their next album will be a worldwide success. They are some absolute bangers on it. So let's get to work saving Axel. Have you noticed? Detective, I've installed a, a language pack. No, I didn't notice that. Oh, why would I notice that? That lets me speak as a true... That... What? That Danny's in? Of the information age? It'll be fun. Back to our investigation. Something must cut the card. Must have cut the card and caused the spotlight to fall. But what? Look around and see if you can find any misplaced shop object. Oh god. Any shop object. Uh, that's that's kind of sharp. <laughs> um, any shop. I guess this is kind of sharp. Oh! An arrow? Yeah! Somebody shot an arrow! A bolt. Are you familiar with this ancient murder weapon? Yeah, probably. It was fired from a ranged weapon called crossbow. The tech was very clever for its time. Let's rewind time and look for the one who shot the bolt. Time to go back in time. If 
further proceeding, because I have the feeling that to solve this case, we'll have to keep track of many notions. Give me a second. Done. I've installed the new tool, the case journal. Oh no! <laughs> oh god! I don't like the fact that you, 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 we probably have to look back at this. So, yeah. That, what's this? Ah, that's just that. Someone suspicious. Who do you think will look suspicious? This dude. What do you mean? He looked. He, he looks suspicious. He's just angry. He's normal. <laughs> Quite normal. Well, you have a. Oh, hmm. <gasps> you! You have a crossbow, sir. O's bones. Damn. There's a possible suspect. He has a crossbow in his hands at at a point just before Axel was murdered. He's O's Bones, a former member of the band. Officially, he left the blood axles due to artistic differences. But there was gossip about fights over royalties on record sales. Yeah, a, a lot of bands broke up for that reason. Let's follow Oz to study his movements in the moments after the murder. We need to know whether he's linked to Axel's death. Okay. Time to jump forward now. Oh, yeah. Oh, what are you talking about? That, that's your jacket. Yeah, that's his jacket. What, what do you mean? Okay, whatever. That's fine. <coughs> mm. I need to look at this thing. Oh, he's just a bearded person. Okay. What am I looking over here for? Oh! There you go. There he, there he was! <laughs> He's, yeah, he undressed himself. Okay, he's still bearded. He's he's still running from person. They're arguing over something. He might have gone this way. Who are you? Why did you throw a banana? It's just weird. He couldn't have gone that far. I can always use a hint if I if I take too long. Um Oh my god, he was right there. Camouflage! Yeah, he, he took his hat. He's hidden in the, in the marching band, which is crossing the street. And he's no longer carrying the crossbow. Burrow. Yep. This is suspicious. If we find the crossbow, we can analyze it by comparing the grooves and pressing the bolt. 
and those left by the crossbow drum. That way we can determine whether it's the murder weapon. We need to find where, the, oh, where Oz hit the weapon. Oh, going to have to find the weapon? Well, I'm pretty sure he probably could have been under here. Or in this bag. Um, where would you put a crossbow? That's my question. <laughs> Um, camera, um, I just shout in chat if you see it, if you see it, <laughs> you can help me too. I see it, we oh, know. What I did? That's rude. <laughs> Maybe it isn't here. No. Where the heck would the crossbow be? Truck! There we go. On the truck! Of course. Okay. Let's come find the grooves. Yes, let's do that. Scanning, scanning. Find out. Was it? The murder weapon! There is no doubt it's the murder weapon. So, Oz Burns is the culprit. However, Detective, remember that our goal isn't to arrest a criminal, but to restore the true timeline. In this case, it provides that Axel survives, and Oz isn't charged with such a major crime. Potential they division the the can be reabsorbed by a time stream, but a substantial one cannot. Anyway, we take one problem at a time. We have to figure out every detail in this case before we act. Let's re reconstruct Axel's day to find out why. Oz wanted to kill him so blatantly. Then we can figure out how to prevent the crime. Oh god. All the way back? How am I gonna find Axel? Oh god. Oh yeah, he, he's definitely not suspicious. Um, I forgot what he looked like. <laughs> Just here? There's the marching band. Um, hmm. 
where would a superstar be? Not, he's not there. Just a random. Is it you? <laughs> Is it you? <gasps> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, what did he look like? Bruh! Rude. Don't be like that, dude. Let's take random photo photos of people. Oh, this couple looks cute. Let me just take a photo of them. No reason. What do you look like? That's a big ass. Is that even allowed on YouTube? <laughs> or even on Twitch? <laughs> Is that too vulgar for Twitch? He had sunglasses and he had like rabbit ears. Okay. Um. You'll dream to be on stage setting up things. But no. You know what? I think I'm gonna have to use this hint here. Yeah, it's like how can I find that person? You? No. I have no clue where, where they could be. This is kind of like a small map as well. So you would think I'd find them by now. At the beginning of the day, Axel greeted his fans. Oh, okay. You? Nope. Where would his, where would the fans be? So he, he was in this part here. You? 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 Oh. Okay. Oh, <gasps> the birds, of course. Follow the birds! I'll tell you everything. What are you doing? Hmm? I'm on to you. Oh, yeah. Need to follow him now. Is that what he looks like? He's spiky hairish. Or, or is that you? And that might be you. Um, 
band are still marching. It must be you then. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Clearly. Alright. Oh, it's John Wick. There's definitely a lot of references to things in like movies and stuff. What are you doing? Oh, that's just Rick. Rick or Rick? Um. Went to lunch. Where would lunch be? Uh. Huh? Oh, there you go. She's upset. That's Axel. While the rest of the band was at the restaurant for breakfast, Axel was off to the side, texting. He seems partially upset. Who is he writing to? We have to get our hands on his phone so that we can read those messages. But we can only do that when Axel doesn't have it in hand. In fact, this is one of the precautions we'll have to take so that we don't inadvertently interfere with the space-time flow. Ah, uh, jump forward. Jumping forward again. Jump and jump and jump and jump. Where could she be? He's angry for no reason. <gasps> Maybe she's the thief. This entire time. Dun dun dun. Oh no. Oh dear, he shoelace. <laughs> I'm just busy looking at off of stuff. Um, 
She'll still have a beanie on, so. Sif oh, what's happening here? She still hasn't set it up yet. Oh, there she is. Oh, there you are. He is, not she. Jumping forward, she, he still has it. Oh, they've gotten off the bus. I mean, car. That's not a bus, that's a car. Yeah, that person set it up. Oh. oh there we go. What? Oh, the phone. What are these tiny things about? A bit strange. There's the phone. We got the phone! There it is! Yeah, that's what we need. Oh, God, my hands. Oh. Alright, let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The fingerprints and stuff. Axel's phone. There we are. Boop, boop. 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 There we are. Scanning. Boop. Open. Ha ha! Just what I, as we suspected. The rumors were right. Oz were kicked out of the band as to do to economic issues related to song copyrights. Oh, <laughs> that's what you had yesterday, right? You had uh, some copyright issues on the song you used. The last two messages are full of frets. Oh dear. The frets he sent are an act of felony. If we can link him to the messages, we can have him arrested for a crime less serious than murder. That should be enough to restore the true timeline. From the messages Axel received, we can extract the IP address and triangulate. Well, I spare you the tacticalities. In simple ter terms, we can trace O's location. Oh, ow. Aha. Oh, disposed. Oh, no. We traced the phone, but O's had already disposed of it. We have to go back in time when the phone was still in his hands. Oh dear. Okay, O's is a is a bearded. No. Let's see. Aha, there you are. Threatening. Urgh. Bingo! Oz is walking and texting at the same time, which was then which was then one of the major causes of death. That isn't our issue though. <laughs> okay. The important thing is that he is using his phone. And we can link him to the threats Axel received and alert the police who can arrest and charge him. That way, we'll prevent Axel's murder and simultaneously get always a lighter sentence than one for murder would be. Great job, detective. We solved our first real case. We should celebrate! <laughs> Woo! Let's go.
let's go. <coughs> Wait. Oh, but what? I'm getting some weird interference in the flow of space time. It's as if something is distorted. I need to check this. It could be a malfunction in my system, or it could be something worse. The distortion in the time flow seem related to Oz bones? Is this a coincidence? Well, coincidence are worst enemy, and this has to be connected to the murder. Find Oz bones! Yeah, I did suspect that. Well, in my brain, I did suspect that uh, he probably wasn't the murderer. It was probably just someone else. Oh, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> what? I knew it. Intruder. There's O's, but what? Have you seen it too? My sense is acting funny. There's a person next to him. An intruder who seemed to come from, well, from outside the time flow. I can't st stabilize the image because it disappeared when my system tried to pull information from it. However, traces of his intervention remain in the time flow. Watch Oz carefully. The anger he feels isn't natural. It must have been caused by the intruder. These are all questions that we absolutely must answer. However, first we have to file the case and go back to the main screen of my system. Oh, and I'll get rid of this stupid language pack. We won't have more time for jokes, I'm afraid. For now, well done. So we have to we have to figure out what this disturbance is about. That was unsettling. I have no record of a similar entity in my DB. We're facing something completely new. So I'm afraid this is this will be a long, complex mystery to solve. Let me install a little mystery grid. Done. I've added the details about the strange happenings surrounding the last case on the board. We still can't grasp the nature of that mysterious figure, but at least we have some understanding of what his powers are. I suggest that we call him Rage for the meantime. He's called Rage. Rage. Alert! New Naxus event detected. Okay, now an explanation is in alpha. Under normal circumstances, the true timeline is naturally resilient and can adjust itself if minor or rare changes occur. But if too many quantum alter altercations, alterations, which are happening in a small time frame, well, history could break apart. Those Contractions of change to the tomb line are called nexus events. It is our duty to stabilize them before it is too late. <coughs> I think I'm getting time sickness. <laughs> we need to identify and revert any altercation alteration made to proper course of history, and and we have to do it now. Uh, how long have we streamed? Uh, let me just check. Uh, I, I just need to know how long I've been streaming. Um. Pardon me. <coughs> bum 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 ba dum bum ba dum. Oh god. Oh, one hour. Um, yeah, we can do another one. Why not?
1,342. The yellow greedy gear. Oh, interesting. This Nexus event is corrupting the. Oh. Yellow greedy gear. And I don't. I don't want to listen to myself on stream. This Nexus event is corrupting the Lost Age. The Lost Age, as its name suggests, is a forgotten period of your civilization. Until recently, there was no record of such an age, and to this day, its existence is shrouded in secrecy. Furthermore, many entries about the Lost Age in my database are classified as Crimson Level and, th and thus unavailable. We'll have to figure out Figure some things out as we go. Ooh. Here we are. The Lost Age. According to my recordings, a violent crime is disrupting the timeline. We are looking for a corpse near the pyramid. Which pyramid? <laughs> this pyramid well, is kind of pyramid shaped. Or this pyramid. Uh, looks messy when you zoom out, but when you look closer and closer, it could be this massive pyramid. There's a portal here. Yet again. Oh no. <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> oh my god. There, under the boulders, is our victim. I detect traces of. Impossibility. Oh dear, this wasn't supposed to happen. We need to learn how this event came to pass. Prevent it and find more clues so that we can understand what's going on. Find more clues for what? Maybe you have to follow where it fell? Ah, oh. yeah. Got to follow where it fell. Good find. Clearly, the wrench broke, and the boulders, f boulders fell, crushing our victim. Can you see those tools near the, near the wrench? Winch. Someone was at work right here. Maybe we can see whether the machinery was sabotaged. Please wait a moment when I load a subroutine that will highlight. Structural failures on pieces of machinery. We need to determine whether the machinery was sabotaged. Uh, I need some water. Looks like some type of monster. It looks like the entity clawed at it. A faulty pulley. Detail scan complete. Report. It was indeed a structural failure. A cog fell apart. The image analysis showed numerous cracks on its most superficial layer. Alright, it's just cracks then. Meaning a clear sign of wear. Unfortunately, an, our analysis also points out that all of the other components were new. And there was just a single faulty piece. That's very strange. Yeah, very suspicious. I've taken us back in time. Remember the tools we found near the pulley? It must belong to someone. Someone was near the machinery just before it cracked. Um, someone was near it. Well, technically, he, this person's near it. His tool. Wrench, maybe.
Maybe I'll have to find a person with a wrench. Oh god. Could be anyone though. <gasps> a mummy. You're suspicious. Damn it. It's another portal. Curved shaped. How am I gonna find a wrench? And this is such a. Oh god, it's so much more bigger now. Well, not now. It a lot of like dragging. Must be knitting somebody on the pyramid then. You'd feel like the portals would, you know, corrupt time, but nope, that, that's completely fine. Sad face. Hmm. You? No. Maybe. Oh, the box. Ah. Oh. Yeah. I should have. Okay. No, sorry. Uh, that took so long. There's our worker. It seems his job was to perform a creep on all of the pulleys. We should reconstruct the workers. Identity and check my recording to see if there's information about him. We're gonna find something about you, dude. Sorry. Alright, let's find out. Good work. It's too bad that the database had no helpful information other than a name. Aiton Blacktail. I have an idea. Let's follow Aiton forward in time and see what he did after the accident. We should take a mental note to see whether there's anything unusual about his behavior. Be attention, detective. Aiton is the only worker with a black tail. Oh dear. Oh god. Why are we skipping way forward in time? That, that's not even fair. Is that a black tail? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, okay, wow. Alright. He's handling a receipt to the chief worker. He's probably trying to prove his innocence by pointing out that he brought new parts for the pulleys as he was supposed to. Let's see what he did afterward. Okay, we just need to find somebody with black tail man. Alright, let's find... I feel like he'll still be near the pyramid, I'm guessing. He's angry about something? Big anything. There'd be movie references that I don't even. That I don't even. See. The sister worm. I'm not. I'm not what reference is that? I mean, that's Aladdin. <laughs> hey, I'm a crocodile. Hey, it's me, the crocodile. Um. Um.
That's weird. Suspicious. Found you. Hey. Okay. Mmm, some cheese. Some nice, lovely cheese. Oh, oh dear. She got captured. Maybe he was like forced to kill him or something. Oh, oh my god. He's now rich. Fancy hat. Oh dear. Tick 10. Am I gonna have to find a fancy hat now? Oh, doggy. Oh, wormy. Not doggy. Are you? You just made out of sand. Uh oh. That's not good. Might be eaten by a sand monster. <laughs> Little finger. We're looking for a black tail as well, I guess. Let me know if you uh, find some like movie references or something. <laughs> oh, there you are. Oh yeah. <coughs> Crocodile. There he is. It's pretty far from his previous location, no doubt. He used one of the glowing, glowing great gates. They were a wonder of the lost age that could instantly transport anyone from one gate to another. Why don't we have those now? That'd be so much more easy to get around places. Because their purpose is to travel between locations on Earth. It, oh, whoa! Huh. Whoa! They called them Earth Gates. It was very useful technology. For us, though, they're a real problem. Oh, dang it. It's a tall order to find someone in a city where he or she can move from one place to another quickly. Anyway, back to our investigation. What's that? A pet, pet crocodile? Is it really buying the most exclusive animal of the lost age? A symbol of power and status favored among those blessed blessed by the eye of Ra? Wait. A may lack proper empathy and some other basic human features. But I'm pretty sure that workers during the lost age were generally unable to afford such luxuries. The cheese. The quirky headdress. The pet crocodile. How did Eaton get so much money? Let's try to reconstruct Eaton's day from the beginning. Oh boy. Dig. Do, 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 do. We've 
seen Eaton doing some upkeep on the pulleys. Also, he was instructed to buy s spare parts. He probably received those tasks from a work supervisor. Workers, as I believe was, was the case until the very end of information age in or uh, around the year 2100, usually received daily briefings from their supervisors. Am I, uh, I'm just supposed to find him then, okay. Black tail, I guess. Okay. Maybe he was still working on the pyramid at this time? Let's see. The eye is always watching. Ah, <laughs> <gasps> there you are. Found you. Oh yeah! Shopping list. There, as we as suspected, the work supervisor gave Eaton a list of parts to be bought and the money to do so. Let's see what happens next. That's the thing. I'm gonna guess and we're gonna have to find a symbol that matches that portal. Okay. Fish that's the big portal. That's the book portal. <laughs> Feather portal. Eye portal. Um, wavy portal. Um, Suspicious. An egg. It's an egg for no reason. Maybe I should look around the shops or something. I can't be the dude. That wouldn't make any sense. Oh, there he is. Right near the eye puzzle. Time for manipulation. <laughs> He's there. Near the vendor of cheap spare parts. Wait, something is off. I can clearly read the temporal fl flur. That. The timeline is incredibly frail in this particular tick. Look! In our image, the vendor's face is missing. Oh god. Yeah. Glitching apart. She isn't real. Alternatively, she isn't really in the true timeline. Something is attacking the correct flow of history. I can't do much right now. I need my full computational power to analyze this paradox. We'll have to solve the, the case first. 
Based on the appearance of the cogs in this makeshift shop, we can safely assume what happened. Still, we need proof. I'm betting those aren't the parts Easton was told to get. Let's try to decipher that list of his. Alright. Let's check it out. Yeah. Theory! I guess we start here. We go down. This way. That way. That way. Oh yeah. Bing. That's greedy. Oh dear. It's just what we thought. Eaton was instructed to buy top quality prices and was given enough money. Detective, do you see what happened? Something is trying to alter the proper course of events for unknown reasons. To do so, our foe doesn't act. I need to shut my window. <sighs> To do so, our foe doesn't act directly, but tries to enable su 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 subtle changes that will cause ripples throughout the timeline. For example, something took the semblance of a cheap spare, spare part vendor, in this case, inducing Eaton to cheat his work supervisor. He bought an old cog for nothing. And kept all the money to purchase luxury goods. Oh dear. However, you can't interfere with history and stop Eaton right now because he still has to commit a crime. In any case, he somehow forged the registry in order to secure an alibi. If we can get a glimpse of him doing that before the, the, the accident, we can have him arrested for fraud and prevent the accident from happening. Different. Um. Oh. Oh, I guess this is a reference to a uh, mummy with a uh, Brandon Fraser. Oh, where could he be? Is that you? No. He has a spiky tail. Oh, there we go. Crime! There. Taking the pr price tag from high quality gear. Now we can send a very minor impulse back to so that some god will, will happen to notice him. Gee. Still, I wonder what would, what will have changed history? Was it the death of unknown worker, or Eaton posing as a master, blessed by the Eye of Ra? Anyway, good job, detective. You solved this case. However, I'm afraid it would be a first in a long series. 
is to return to the mainframe and analyze the, the, the little bit of data we've collected about our inclusive overall. Uh, Oh. Yar. Detective. That was quite unsettling. It seems Range isn't the only entity trying to tamper with the dream timeline. But good news first. You solved the case and started the long task of stabilizing the Lost Age Nexus event. You're currently progress at 12.5%. Speaking of bad news, however, while we were busy doing our job, there was a data leak in the Fulcrum Stories archive. Key events in human history. Oh dear. Detective, do you think you can help me piece together these stories? Take it as a secondary quest in the breaks between one case and another. Thank you. And now back to more urgent matters. I'm running some tests on the data we gathered on our enemy, but it'll take some time to obtain any meaningful results. While we wait, I suggest that we proceed with the next paradox, menacing the lost age. Um, let's see. Uh, we'll, we'll go until uh, maybe two hours, I guess. Let's do another one. I like this game. A brown billy goat. Let's go. The Nexus event in the last stage is becoming more unstable at an alarming rate. That probably means it's going to get harder. My temporary scanners cannot detect the various variations as they occurred, but only once the deed was done. This can mean any one thing. Whoever is attempting to disrupt the timeline is well aware of, of our presence and is trying to break the time continuum by flooding it with dozens of tiny, barely noticeable changes. These little changes are like drops. One can't make any difference. But if you get enough of them, you can create a C. Detective. You can see temporary little fluctu fluctuations on the North Market Street. Something happened there. North Street. I'm trying to remember on the compass which is which way is north. <laughs> I guess north is maybe forwardish. Maybe I don't know. Let's go down there. Yeah, this is a crime. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, let's just try and find a dead person. Uh, which way is north? Which way is now? Here? Ah! Oh dear! The store was destroyed entirely, as if an unstoppable force had run through it. The merchant appears to be desperate. Let me load my subroutine so that we can see if there are any details about him in our database. Error. Access denied. Data about the subject 
Shoshiren is classified. Crimson level clearance is required. Oh dear. Oh well, that's worth a try. At least we know his name now. <laughs> well, let's see if we can access the nature of this unstoppable force. For more clues, you look too happy. <laughs> Don't be happy. <gasps> the ram, of course. It's a goat. There, a villain to be reckoned with. A destroyer of stalls. A goat. Why do they have to be goats? There's no telling what horrors such a creature could wreck upon the, a defenseless city. Well, I guess we have our unstoppable force. Sadly, ghost goats of the Lost Age weren't legally pun punishable. That became a thing only at the Great Goat Gorilla. Of, of 2,356 because we can't have that devious goat arrested we should follow it until we find its owner we have to go back you yep. have to go tick 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 there you are Nice horns. <laughs> yes. Let me go further back. <gasps> Aha. Fool. There. I managed foolish enough to hold the goat in his arms. <laughs> he is its owner. Or is the goat really the master? Let's find his identity. Hoping we have enough clearance this time. So angry. Ufa. Good work. A goat owner name is Ufa. Some sort of merchant he is. You can see from the database that he had a bitter rivalry with George Han. Wait, I have an idea. I want to see what Ufa was doing while his goat from hell was raising Shushin's stall. Oh, forward in time. So he looks like an eagle. With a merge. like a merge. Where could I find him? Aha, there you are. I knew you, I knew you would 
you look t too happy? Look at him. He seems to be pretty happy. I guess he and the goat share an appetite for destruction. Everything about Ufa is suspicious. Let's go back in time and follow him so that we can confirm our suspicions. Oh my god. All the way back? Oh my god, are you serious? Where would his stall be at, though? That's the obvious question. Potion. Stupid flies in here. So annoying me. Where, oh where could he be? We don't know. You? Ufa was arguing with Soshin by the look of the stone behind them. Two had an ongoing challenge. It was called Capultism and was quite a popular game between merchants of the Lost Age. Basically, the challengers would see who would make the most of significant profit with in a certain period of time. Back then, it was just a game. Too bad it evolved into something quite dreadful. Well, enough of the history lesson. Let's follow Ufa during the game so that we can see how well he plays. <laughs> Yeah, but where's this shot? Is that you? I look like you. Aha! Uh -huh. Failure! Is the AI just going to keep calling him a failure? It's trying his best, okay? Leave him alone. <laughs> Jeez.
So rude. Where could he be? As was to be expected, Rufo lost the game of cat capitalism. Uh, I mean, capitalism. And Shushin <laughs> is mocking him. As is his right. Usually, those challenges include a wager of some kind. I believe we should decipher the stone tablet so that we can learn the full rules of capitalism. <laughs> Yeah, I think I think I know what the the rule of capitalism is. <laughs> oh, damn! <laughs> yep. Money, money, money. Stone tumbler is crystal clear. The loser will have to give his stone stall to the winner. Ooh. Ufa has just lost everything. I must admit, he seems like a nice guy despite his love for goats. And he doesn't deserve such a fate. Not in this ruthless age. Even so, he likely ha ha never had a chance of all the courage to seek revenge of Shoshin in the Tomb Timeline. It often happens that way. That's sad. Poor Ufa. We should locate Ufa again to find a way to undo this paradox. Yes, Detective. I sense you're becoming stressed about finding someone in the city where our suspect can instantly travel between earth gates. Maybe I can help. Thank you. Just gave me some time to install a new subroutine. You have a free mi free m premium subscription so you can spend up the process by watching some ads. <laughs> no? Okay then. Are you really sure about the ads? They're quite funny. And they're targeting, they're targeted just for you. I know what you like. <laughs> okay, okay, you said no, I get it. Installation complete. What? 
Huh? You should know that some objects called pivots vibrate at a particular frequency depending on the movement in time they observe. Studying, studying these objects make it possible to r represent a period with a melody. However, by touching these pervertal objects, it's also possible to get an indication of the proximity of distortion in space-time. It's easy! Sure. Ice means for, and for, and fire means near. Fire. Perfect. As you saw, this element returns fire, which means Ufa is nearby. Oh, that's going to be helpful then, yeah. Let's follow the emergence until we'll find the no origin of the paradox. You can keep using the CFE analyzer if you need to. We just zoom in here. One last one. He's near this one too. Okay. Aha, on it. Oh, he's sad now. No, he's sad. Oh no, he's angry. Oh my god, the entity. Rage is back. Detect him. You see it too? That's the entity we call Rage. So it was his intervention that turned Upa frustration into a fit of anger, strong enough to push him toward a vengeance. As I suspected, our foes are atta attacking the timeline by orchestrating several minor changes. We can't let this happen. You know what rage is power powers are. Anufa is in the throes of an uncontrollable fury because of him. We need to find it, a tick in time when Ufa is committing a crime so that we can have him arrested. Poor Ufa. Get in, getting influenced. Caught! Ha ha! There, fantastic work, Detective. Seems that our goat owner is a, was a great thief. He first stole the goat from his dispatch shop and unleashed its on its hellbound range on Sushin's stall. I know it was fun. But we can't let it happen. The timeline is at risk because we've just seen Ufa steal a goat. We can alert a guard and have him detained for rust, rust, rustling. That way, Shishan stole and Fortune will be safe. I'm sorry, Detective. But the right thing to do isn't always the easiest one. Bam, bam. Now, we must return to the mainframe and see if we can collect more data. Thank you. My tests are complete. It seems that range and our whatever that is, shape shifter, have very similar energy signatures. That can't be a coincidence. Furthermore, this energy trace seems to be synthetic in nature. So it was probably able to reconstruct a pattern in the shape shifters one. That would be a word or a code of some sort. Or, well, a name. Oblivion. I'm afraid we're out of time. I'm picking up a very strange signal from the information age. It's something I've never seen before. And by I, I mean the collective database of this a agency. We have to hurry. I think I'm going to leave it there for now. 
that was this is a really fun game but yeah I hope you enjoyed that and uh, yeah goodbye oh ow